Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ports as a part of IDOC settings and in the previous video we studied what a port is, what is the transaction code for the port and what are the most important types of ports. One is TRFC port and another is file port. In this video we will create these two types of port, transactional RFC port and another is file port. So I will go to WE21 transaction code, which is the transaction code for ports in IDOC processing. Now, firstly, we will learn how to create a TRFC port or transactional RFC port. So I'll simply select transactional RFC. I will click on to create button. Now we have two options. Whenever you will click on to the create button, we can create TRFC port by two ways. First one, generate port name. Second one, own port name. Word itself is saying generate port name means SAP will automatically generate the port name and in the second case, you will give the port name. Suppose we will go for first way first. We will ask SAP to generate the port name. I will go for OK. You can see SAP automatically generated the port name, which is starting with A and ending with 36. I will provide the short description. Suppose I am saying TRFC port for employee data. For employee IDOCS, we can see. Now we will come on to RFC destination. In the previous video, we put so much stress that you can create a TRFC port or transactional RFC port only for those destinations which are defined in SM59. SM59, whatever the RFC destinations are defined, you can only, only create a TRFC port only for those destinations. So suppose if I will click on to F for help, it will show me all the destinations which are defined in SM59. So prerequisite is yes, destination must be defined in SM59. Suppose I will go for this RFC destination. Now I will simply go for save button. Now this RFC destination, this destination and our current SAP system Whenever they will transfer the IDOCs, whenever IDOCs will transfer, they will transfer by which particular port? This particular port. Because we all know port is acting as a technical link between the sender and the receiver and they will act as a communication channel to send the IDOCs. So between this RFC destination and our current system, Whenever we will send the IDOX, IDOX will be sent by which particular port name? This particular port name. Now we will go for second way. In the second way, we will give our own port name. How to give our own port name? So I'll simply click on to TRFC. I will click on to create button. Now we will give go for own port name and I will give our own port name. Suppose I am saying TRFC, suppose EMP. We are creating a transactional RFC port for employee. I will go for OK. Now I will give the same to same short description. OK. Now we will choose the RFC destination. I suppose I will choose the same to same RFC destination. So it is your wish you want to, you, you can ask SAP to generate the port name or you can provide your own port name. So we studied both the ways how to create a TRFC port 
by giving our own port name or we are saying SAP to generate the port name. Now we will move on to second type of port, how to create a file port file. I will simply go for file. I will click on to create button. Now I will give some name to the file port. Suppose I am saying F port for employee. I will give that description. File port for employee data. Now you can see we are automatically getting a directory path. We are automatically getting a directory path. Okay. So you can see if you see this path, if you see this path, this path is similar to one of the directory which is available in AL11. At that time in the previous video, we put so much stress whenever we are talking about files on application layer or server, AL11 transaction code plays a vital role, vital. Suppose if I will show you AL11 transaction code. So you can see we have so many directories available and by default one directory path is automatically coming. One directory path is automatically coming. This user SAP S4H Sys Global. So you can see we have AL11 one path is coming into outbound file also and it is coming into inbound file also. So whatever the name you will give, suppose I'm giving the name to the outbound file as outbound.txt. So whenever, whenever you will put the file, whenever we will run. So in this particular path, one file, one file will store with this particular name. If in this directory, one file will store with this particular name. So any middleware on any other system can pick the iLog file from there itself. Suppose we are going for inbound file. So whatever in this particular directory, suppose I am giving the name to the file as inbound.txt. So in this particular directory, one file will store with this particular name. So this is the way how you can go for file port. File port means we are always, always talking about AL11 transaction code. Whatever the directory path will be there and whatever the file name you will give in that particular directory, file will store with that particular name. And yes, once it is in AL11, any middleware can pick that particular file. So I will simply, simply click on to the save button. So now in this video, we studied how to create a TRFC port and how to create a file port. But based upon our current requirement, what is our current requirement? We want to migrate the employee data you're using BAPI with IDOC interface and our employee data is in the file. We are transferring the data from the file. So which port is applicable to us? File port is applicable to us. So now in the upcoming videos, yes, whenever we will migrate the data, we will use this file port. As of now, this TRFC port is not applicable to us based upon our current requirement. But we studied how to create a TRFC port also. So what is the summary of the video? We studied how to create a TRFC port and how to create a employee or how to create a file port. In case of TRFC port, yes, RFC destination must be defined in SM59. In case of file port, just understand we are always, always dealing with a transaction code AL11. Whatever the directory path is there and whatever the file name you will give, 
in that particular directory idoc file will store with that particular name and any middleware can pick that file from that particular path so that's it in this video thank you